One of my spring break goals was to try a new restaurant, and we found one that you may actually be interested in. That's right. We have to share it with you. It's called the Cheshire Grill, and today owner Eric Vorpe and head chef Spencer Schwab are here with us, and they're not alone. They brought in a bunch of great food to share with us. Yeah, you are like number one in our book this morning. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this smells delicious. Oh, yeah. So tell us about the reopening of this wonderful restaurant. Well, it's it's been a restaurant since 1956. Um, the Norm family, who owns Sweetland Candies, it started out Sweetland's Restaurant. So it did great for a lot of years. And, I found it was closed and reopened it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if someone may have been to this spot before and would go back now to the Cheshire Grill, what kind of differences would they see? Well, no, we... Different decor, I know that. We I, saw a great well, interior it shot. It is. There we go. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, thanks. It's No, I, it, it was different, quite different. So, no, it's pretty much all new everything. and the ice cream shop and the restaurant and how would you describe your menu I mean these looks like they look like American classics they are it's uh, it's scratch cooking it's not hot cuisine it's just good honest food mm -hmm. um, it's great to be able to cook good honest food again mm -hmm. right yeah. <laughs> it is it's what we eat on an everyday basis but as I always say everything tastes better when someone else is cooking yes, it. Yes, I think you're right. <laughs> so, uh, Chef Spencer, why don't you tell us a little bit, starting with this really yummy looking salad over here, which is something I always try to, you know, have a lot of. What is this? What kind? That's, a, that's our BLT salad. Mm. It's, uh, it's very simple. It's just full of fresh vegetables, mm -hmm. locally grown. Uh, that's my homemade tomato dressing Ooh. on the side. Yum. It looks delicious. And then, of course, um, I know Rachel likes to tend for the healthier uh -huh. fare. For me, I love a burger and fries. <laughs> so uh, the next item down here looks like some uh, delicious French fries. Uh, that's We call that the Spinner's Grim. Spinner's my kitchen nickname. Oh, okay. Uh, that's our olive burger. Oh, oh yum. I love olive burgers. If I'm going to indulge, this is the way to do it. Yep, Swiss cheese, homemade olive sauce, wow. fresh Spanish mm -hmm. olives. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And okay. of course, our beer batter fries. Oh, my goodness. Yes. They look delicious. It's almost lunchtime, mm -hmm. so uh, yeah. we're really getting hungry here. And, of course, we can't keep our eyes off of this. This is absolutely beautiful. And you actually have a baker oh, that yeah. created these beautiful cupcakes. Tell us about these. <clears throat> well, our baker just comes in and has a lot of fun. <laughs> yeah, I can tell. She's constantly throwing something new and exciting at us. Um, I never know what I'm going to walk into the next morning. <laughs> That's good. Oh, and yeah. it looks wonderful. You look like they're, they're creamed the mint there, so mint and chocolate, a great combination, and also peanut butter and chocolate. You can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. those are perfect. And these are the hot fudge sundae. Oh, uh, the flavor. one there on top with the, the cherry. With the cherry on That's it. gorgeous. We love the 8 West. So she's obviously very talented in being able to put together different combinations, mm -hmm. you know. Oh, absolutely. That is so nice. Okay, so any great restaurant or diner has to have something that um, would be wonderful for breakfast. And this is really interesting, French toast, but it doesn't look like your average French toast. No, we, we sell French toast, of course, but every month we trot out a, a specialty French toast. Um, this month, we're doing pistachio bread French mm -hmm. toast. Oh, wonderful. Yum. Uh, Nice That's, twist. Yeah, it's uh, been very well received. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it has. And of course, the uh, the big sandwich on the end. You know, you got to love that. Very hearty, a wonderful meal. This is our railside red Reuben. Mm. I expect this to be universally famous. This was created by our kitchen manager, Big Mike. Ooh. Um, it's got. It's on a sun dried tomato swirl rye. Oh my goodness, that sounds great. And it's a raspberry coleslaw. Ah, oh, it looks delicious. It's absolutely fantastic. I love how you're doing this all-American food, but you're putting interesting twists to it. And Eric, I have to ask, what about prices? Because people love to eat out, but I bet that when you go to the Cheshire Grill, it's probably more affordable than some of the other places you're going to go to get something that's a little unexpected. Oh, I think so. We have I don't know, with the menu change, it was... Our, our dish is very from anywhere from $5 to $10. See, that's yeah. great. Yeah. That's great. And your portions are great, too. And that's something that's going to oh, fill yeah. someone up for under $10. And the only thing we buy frozen are the french fries and the um, ice cream. 
fantastic Everything ice cream. Everything is made from scratch. Every day. <laughs> I hope so. We, we do have shakes here too. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you cover the gamut, everything you could want. You're open seven days a week, and you're on Facebook as well, so people can we find are. you easily. Tell me about the restaurant business. What what gave you the desire to open a restaurant? Oh. Years ago, I had a restaurant, and we sold it because we, you know, we had small kids at the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, and now my youngest is at U of M, so I got a little extra time. Yeah. So but no, I love it. I mean, it's a lot of fun. It's a huge challenge every day. I mean, it's, yeah. it never stops. You have to have a passion for it, and you can tell that by the presentation here and uh, just how awesome your food looks. That and an executive chef in the kitchen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, that's good. It seems like you have a winning combination. You're doing unique things. You're putting an interesting twist. You're keeping it affordable, and that's a key these days. Mm -hmm. And so I can't wait to try it out. It looks Fabulous. I'm going to try some of this when we go to break. Actually. All right. That's right. <laughs> so we're going to eat. Thanks for being with us today. Yeah. And if Thank you're looking you. for a great place to eat over spring break, check out the Cheshire Grill on Plainfield. Okay. This is 8 West.